carbon to me has always been very fascinating. It's hard to explain why. If we think about it, uh, all the life as we know it is based on carbon. And here we are, two carbon-based uh, organisms talking about carbon, while at the same time all of our fundamental questions and, and problems that we're facing with today have to do with carbon, either having too much of it in the atmosphere or not having enough of it in the topsoils where we, where we grow our foods. The most powerful tool for a city to guide towards sustainability is the urban planning. And that's why we need to make most of the most valuable asset we have and plan the city according to, well, public transport, using um, renewable sources of energy, also using renewable materials, or use them again and not waste them. The city of Tampere is uh, the second largest city district in Finland, so we have about 400,000 people in the whole city district, uh, 250,000 in the city of Tampere itself. This is the right size of the city with all the services that you can, you can want to and you can imagine, but still feels like a city that is not too big. The atmosphere is one of the things that always mentioned us, you know, this is one of those things why I want to be in Tampere, because it's so relaxed, it's so easy to be here. The sustainability is key of our thinking. It's sort of embedded in everything we do that we don't even want to state it out separately because it's, it is always there. One of our goals is to be carbon neutral by 2030. We also want to bring uh, much more attention to biodiversity, which will be one of those things we are focusing on in our next uh, program for the next four years. The city of Tampere really tries to make a sustainable future we are really focusing on smart and sustainable together since we have a strong background in the ICT sector. And we have, a, of course, this huge opportunity of this huge area of Hieranranta, where we basically can, the city can focus its efforts toward novel solutions in buildings and in construction. So that is why we created this living lab, to really make the most of this opportunity. Right now we are looking for different companies to come in and kind of fill the gaps. Because once we are aiming for the sustainable future, there are plenty of gaps. I mean, there are a lot of stuff that the companies nowadays still don't do. And we are all kind of now looking for those sustainable solutions of the future. Carfax is a pioneering CO2 removal company. And you know how we do the CO2 removal is uh, we make biochar out of biomass that would otherwise degrade and we convert the carbon into a mineral form that cannot be released back into the atmosphere. And then we use that carbon in applications where it's not burned or volatilized uh, back into the, to the carbon cycle. In other words, we hack the carbon cycle. The here on the area, the city bought it from, from the forest industries in, uh, you know, more 10 years ago or so. And ever since it has been the kind of a, a spearhead of, of circular economy and circular thinking within the city. At Tampere University, we are doing research on many technological solutions, for example, that relate to sustainable urban development. So we have had the opportunity to do research on how could we recover, for example, nutrients, carbon or energy from these toilet streams. Tampere universities, they have wide networks with different business communities, municipalities, research organizations, universities, and also non-government organizations, nationally but also internationally. If a city wouldn't have this kind of goals, I don't think we would have any development at all, basically. So we really need to um, be the ones guiding the way. Whatever we do now has to support the sustainable way of living also long into the future.